everybody, I'm back again with another video, and today's video is going to be a weapon review on the mortar. Now, this video is going to be absolutely, completely opinionated, as I do not have any facts or stats from any websites or anything, so I don't really know what I'm going to be talking about, as with for splash damage damage and that kind of stuff so it's going to be cl completely opinionated but hopefully it'll give you a good idea of what it is but anyway also um by the way i am sorry that i have not been uploading lately i've just been so much uh, homework and football and i started hunting and uh, I don't know. I haven't really had much time to do any videos recently. But, yeah. So, anyway. First thing I'm going to talk about is the splash damage. Now, the splash damage, or splash area, is a pretty darn wide range. It's pretty big. You can hit, like, maybe five meters away from your target, and it will still will still hit him the problem with this is the maximum damage I don't even think is 100 so they have to be kind of um at low health for you to get a kill on the first shot the um the ammo in this is six shells and you can either choose HE High explosive or air burst. High explosive, I would not recommend as there's not many situations where you're gonna be wanting to mortar tanks. It would just be better off to go with a limpid charge or something like that. So I would not recommend HE air burst, however, uh, that I would recommend. Air burst is designed to. I think Airburst is designed to maim enemies so that your team can go and kill them as, like I said, it's hard to get one-shot kills with the mortar. So yeah, um, I think if it is designed to maim enemies, it does a very well job as, just like I said, low damage but high splash area. So. If you kept shooting them, which I, I don't know exactly how to do, but there's a way to keep shooting them non-stop, then you can damage all of the people, and your snipers can one-shot kill them, your assault players can go and kill them, and everybody can kill them. So it's a good supporting technique if you are trying to cap an objective, or there's a bunch of campers that you can't really get. It's a pretty good technique. And, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all the mortars. A few things to remember with this mortar is some gadgets you can use as a main weapon until your ammo runs out, but this one, do not use because it does not boost your support or normal, um, stats or leveling up. As much as if you would lay down ammo boxes and repair and things like that. And also, it's really hard to get kills, as I said. So, don't do that. And make sure you are not going... It's okay to use on maps like Ballroom Blitz, but not on, like, Argonne Forest or Fort DeVoe or any of the enclosed maps do not use it on because you'll just keep hitting walls and keep hitting walls and that's the other thing make sure there's no walls anywhere near you otherwise you'll just keep hitting walls and keep hitting walls till no end so anyway i hope this was a good guide to you guys that are watching so i haven't been uploading lately again but that'll be it for the video bye guys Available near your location.